Rivian's upcoming R3, which was revealed recently at their reveal day. It was seen driving around roads in California near the beach, near Laguna Beach. I've got to say, I, I think I like it even more than when Rivian revealed it. It just, I don't know, it just looks good even on the road. What are your thoughts? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I'm a big fan of the new Rivian R2 and R3. A lot of people are comparing them against EVs that are out today. Probably not a fair comparison because both of these vehicles aren't coming until 2026. Unfortunately, we've got a decent wait. But Rivian pre-orders have been piling up. Rivian are saying they've got over 100,000 pre-orders for the R2. I don't think you can pre-order the R3 yet, unfortunately, even though I think a lot of people would. I mean, heck, it looks great. Like it's retro, it's a bit funky, a bit weird, but it's cool looking. I really like it. It's like a sort of an 80s theme to it and it, it works. Anyway, that's my thoughts. It's been a long time since there's been a, a, a vehicle that's kind of had this kind of effect, this kind of impact. People are kind of going crazy for the R3. They're saying, we want to order one now, we want to buy one now, Rivian, let us order one. And I think Rivian will probably start opening pre-orders, even though that's a long way off this vehicle being manufactured, and even though Rivian might even go bankrupt before then. Now, there's reports that Apple are trying to buy Rivian. A lot of them, a lot of reports saying this. So there must be at least some level of substance to this, especially considering Apple have now canceled their electric car plans, um, which they invested $10 billion. Imagine Apple could have easily bought Rivian for $10 billion. I mean, before Rivian uh, became listed at, with an IPO, right? They were worth way, way less than that. Imagine if Apple had just bought Rivian. It would have been a brilliant idea considering how good of a job they've been doing recently, especially with these new vehicles. Now, in my opinion, the R3X, which is the like the off-road version of what you're seeing here, looks even better than this. In fact, quite a lot better. I love the R3X, but the R3 looks really good as well. Now, speaking of the R3X, there is a clip here that Rivian shared on their Instagram page showing an R3X being loaded into a trailer. Now, even though you're seeing the R3 here drive around, it's still not the, It's this is like a one-off vehicle. You know how Tesla built Cybertrucks many years ago? You saw them driving around and you're thinking, oh, it's great, it's gonna be out this year. Not the case, the, this R3 here, it's a one-off prototype here. This is probably not even the, I mean, it will look like this, yes, but in terms of what the what's the motors that are driving it, no one actually really knows because we, we don't, we don't believe that Rivian has the tooling and all the products ready to go yet. That's not what Rivian have told us for this new R3. So yeah, it's still some ways off, but like I said, I think it's gonna be a great car and it will definitely be a rival, an interesting rival for the Re for the new Tesla Model 2. I think the Tesla Model 2 will be a very similar size to this, but we don't know what price the, the R3 is gonna be. We know the price of the R2, for, starting at 45,000 US, obviously Rivian say this will be cheaper, Maybe this will start at something like thirty-five thousand US dollars. That would be that would be good. However, the Model Two is said to start at possibly twenty-five to thirty thousand US dollars. No matter what the case is, guys, we're going to have more choice with EVs in the United States. Apparently, Rivian wants to make the or send the R2 and the R3 to Europe, so pre-orders will open for the R2 in Europe next year, which is really cool. Now, in terms of sizing, the R3 is a similar size, some people say, to the Subaru Crosstrek, or possibly, if you're in Australia, to the BYD Addo 3, to give you some context on the sizing. Now, Rivian say that the R3 is likely to have around 300 miles of range, but you know there'll be different variants, different versions. Either way, guys, I think, you know, companies like Ford and General Motors are gonna have a tough fight on their hands. If they didn't have anything to compare to this. Yeah, I know, you know, General Motors have the, the Bolt EUV that they're gonna bring back in 2025 uh, with great range for apparently even cheaper than the, the existing one, possibly less than 30,000 US dollars. But we know what General Motors are like. They make all kinds of promises and don't really deliver on them. In my opinion, this could be the coolest electric car currently that I've seen in terms of concepts that we're gonna be able to buy in the future. But there is also the Renault 5. The Renault 5 is pretty damn cool as well. What's the deal with people you know, coming out with these, or car companies coming out with these great looking retro cars, Renault 5 and this? I think they look great. Really cool, the future of EVs. I'm getting really kind of excited here, as you can tell. Thanks for watching, guys.
Bye-bye.